Just doing a quick audio check. Are we all good? I'm going to tilt the camera up slightly. Right, it should be fine. Yeah, that's ideal. Uh, hello everyone, welcome to my stream slash video depending on if you're watching it on Twitch or YouTube of uh, FIFA 21 I know, original um, but basically this thing I've sort of wanted to do for a while it's just sort of been a mix of having the energy to do it and sort of getting around to actually doing it uh, so I'm going to do career mode in this I've done a few like Ultimate Team streams before um, but this one I'm going to do career mode because they brought back a couple of things that I actually quite liked about the old FIFA games and they kind of got rid of um, after a while. Uh, let's download the latest squads. Um, yeah, and it was like um, like when you simulate a game, that, like some of them, it just goes straight to the results. Whereas um, within the old ones, they used to do like a, they'd go by the minutes and then they'd say if like someone's had a shot and if it misses or anything like that. And then they sort of brought it back for this one. Um, I was going to go with this guy in the middle. I said default. I'm not going to customize him massively. I'll put my name in there. Why not? Um, yeah. Uh, so a lot of this is going to be like simulation. I might jump into a game if it's like important. Uh, like a cup match or something. I'll see how the simulation goes and go from there. Um, yeah. Uh, head. Beard's mostly fine. Uh, where's the hair option? Oh, kind of gone past it, whoops. Um, let's, well, let's check the eyes, see if they're actually brown. Uh, yeah, they are brown, okay. Um, brows, fine, cheeks and jaw. I, like, I'm not a massive customization thing, it's like, as long as it's just... Um, sort of like similar ish i'm not gonna be like oh but my nose needs to be right and my eyes need to be th like the eye color hair color that's literally all i care about i don't care about the shape of the face um all right where's the color option so i could change the color of the oh there it is it just didn't pop up um like mine's more of like a light brown. Oh, I've got an accessorize, that's why. Uh, so that's the accessory colour, not the... Wait, so medium hair doesn't get the colour change. How strange. <laughs> okay. So, never really explored that before. Um, eh, mine's not that smooth. It's not that bad. I'll say that. That's probably like mine. I don't, I've currently got a hat on, obviously. I'll go with that. Um, outfits. Now, what do I want? Open column I don't want a proper shirt. Oh, I guess because I'm a uh, manager, I guess that's pretty much all I get. So... Uh, I'll go with a black one. Outer top. I'll probably put a jacket over the top. With a maroon suit. Ooh! I like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that, I think. Um... Out of bottom, let's make these maroon if I can. There we go. Outfit accessory. Do I go with a red tie? Ah. Uh, 
I'll go, I'll, I'll go without a tie, I think. Socks. Can't see them, doesn't matter. Shoes. Uh, I think I want some proper shoes on. Uh, not those. Not those. Ah! No. Um. See, because look, they've got dark brown shoes, but they just don't have black shoes. They've got black boots. I might go with. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go with the boots, I think. Oh, there we go. Black shoes. There we go. That's more like it. I don't know why they're all the way over here. Um, oh, continue anything. Uh, and there we go. There's my manager. Uh, I'm going to go with United uh, because I got a massive budget. Um, so, one thing I like to do in... Uh, in these just because I like I said I, I find it fun um, sterling half length four um, like one thing I like to do in seasons is I just like to see how many people I can transfer out and how many people I can get in within like a transfer window uh, the rules I'm gonna do for this one is um, I can only go for people that the scouts find. So I can't hand pick someone like look up this person specifically and then go okay, I want that person. Um I'm basically just going to do it based on I'm going to send my scouts into places to look up players. If some of them pique my interest, then I'll try and get them. That's basically what I'm going to do. Um I'll see some of them I won't be able to sign due to like wage restrictions and stuff like that normally in the second season you get a massive like wage and transfer budget um let's do a new one magic progress too why not um yeah like i said i'm probably gonna do this for like a couple of hours or something uh do i go champions trophy european shield or uh we'll go for that one there's a bit more money to it right so first things first i am going to uh, European International Cup, so just use kind of report. Right, so I am going to uh, right scout instructions. Okay, so on Pacey prolific first team quality left midfielder first team quality. Uh, let's change that one. Uh, actually. I'll keep that one because I like the. You you might find I tr will try and sign a bunch of Leicester players just because of like family reasons where I am. I'm sort of like a Leicester supporter. Um, like my main team is knowing Manchester United, but like mainly with family, I'm more interested in what Leicester do than what Man U do. Um, right position. Let's say a fullback. Attributes, uh, first team quality, pacey. Um, I'll do position, uh, centre back, defensive minded. That'll pretty much be just be any defender, to be honest. Um, I'll tell you, what, I'm going to change that to. What do I change it to? I just change it to winger. Yeah. Winger. First team quality. Uh, I'll, I'll keep Pacey off. Uh, promising. Uh, yeah. 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 I'll go with that. And then, what else have I got here? Striker, fullback, centre back. Any position, free kick. So that'll be somewhere in midfield. And then, let's put this one goalkeeper. Um. First team quality. There we go. And then leave that as it is. Um, transfer hub. That's the wrong one. Um, squad. And then squad hub. And then I'm literally going to put literally, like everyone on uh, transfer list. 
I know some of these are technically going soon. Uh, I did put current squads. I know like Grant and Romero are actually properly gone. Like I said, I'm going to basically just put everyone on offer and just see what happens essentially. Like that, like to me, that's the fun of it. It's just seeing who goes where and for how much. Uh, it's always fun to see like which teams spend the most and on which player. Um, yeah. Uh, I know, like you're basically get a turn message going. I see you've put me up for sale. It's like I'm just going to ignore them. Uh, Dallow's at AC Plan. There's one Saka. Joseph Garner's at Forest. Matic. Fred. Uh, oh well, considering I am currently playing as Manu. One of the best signings they did last season, obviously not Donny van der Beek. I have no idea why they got him in the first place. I guess just to fill the bench. Um, but Cavani, like a lot of people are going, okay, that's a bit weird. He's going to Man U for a season. Like, what's the point? He's been, to me, their best player this season. Uh, I know a lot of people praise Bruno Fernandes. Um, Pogba has his moments. But Cavani has been at a completely different level this season. Um, and I'm glad that Manu decided to extend his uh, time for another season. Um, yeah, like I said, he, he's he's been really good. Um, so we got here. Like some of these, is like I have no idea who they are. Uh, Martial, I think like he's been injured for a while, but yeah, I think Cavani's kind of just replaced him in that role now. I I wouldn't be surprised if Martial does leave next season. Uh, maybe go to France, maybe Spain. I guess we'll see. Uh, I'm going to quick sim the training days. I'm not going to bother with everything else. Um, I, it's going to be fairly quiet as well because I've turned the music down because, you know, I don't want it to be copyright claimed. Uh, I had that once on my old FIFA games where because it picked up the music and the menu whilst I was talking, it was like, you've been playing this, so we're going to do this. I was like, oh. uh, yeah, I know, I know. Everyone's just... Can I just mark them all as red? Uh, he's like the only one that is like, I really want to leave. Everyone is like, oh, I'm surprised. Why would you do this to me? Okay. Um, let's just keep advancing. Short I I don't know who you are. <laughs> That's how much he fails to sign. Uh, shine, even. Oh, Rashford. Inter for 80 million. What's his worth? 70. Yeah. I'll accept it. Um, so Rashford's going to Inter Milan, possibly. Oh, the annoying ones as well is like when ones want to be sold, but transfer talks keep breaking down. It's really annoying. Right. Uh, can I sim the match? Yes. Uh, so, yeah, you got play match, sim match, quick sim, which is like what it's been for like the past five years. But this is what I'm so happy they brought back in this one. Like, I absolutely love being able to just watch this and see what happens. So there, there should hopefully be some like crowd noise for this one. Uh, I... I I think I remember correctly that. And this confrontation is underway. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, I love being able to watch this. It's so good. And then you get the option to jump in and then jump back out if you want. It just makes some of the matches quicker as well, which is quite nice. Here's Cavani. Can he put them in front? A wonderful intervention. Dimitri Leonard. So I was just drinking and I had some ice. Um, really yeah, and also it's like in. you can obviously choose to sub whenever um, in there to and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. This looks promising. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Alas, he's made his oh, move no, too oh, there was like, Yeah, um, also Dean Henderson is now more of a regular starter than De Gea. Uh, I wouldn't Belgium. be surprised if De Gea does leave at the season, but... He pro could probably well, stick around the for the sake of um, like domestic cups and stuff like that. Um, 
yeah, like for me personally, I feel like De Gea kind of passed his prime a couple of years ago. Uh, it started to get to a point where like mistakes were catching up. Like I'm not saying he's not done a lot for United because he has. You know, he has won the Premier League with them, I believe. Um, well, yeah, obviously he has, because Van Persie was at Arsenal when De Gea started. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's like he, he's definitely got himself up there as like a one of the best goalkeepers that United have had. But I do feel like maybe a transfer to Spain would probably be ideal for him. Um, yeah, it, it'll be one, like... It sort of almost becomes one of those things where it's like, the, you know, the famous Dark Knight quote, you know, uh, you either die here or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And I feel like it's one of those things where he's like, boys, he's been there for like nine years now. Um, and obviously after like five years, he was like the, apparently the best goalkeeper in the league and all this stuff. Um, and then, yeah, and then it sort of slipped off a bit. I know, like, they still like to say De Gea's world class and that stuff like that but he was kind of conceding quite a fair amount um Cavani. and like a lot of them were down Mason to him Greenwood. not being able to save it properly like to it i think in the 20 2019 Ready. 2020 season he had Cavani. i think eight mistakes like eight unforced errors Great that led to goals um yeah which isn't good for a goalkeeper um yeah like i said like he's, he's done a lot for the club you know, he's won them trophies and stuff like that. So I'm not like, I'm going to be one of those people where it's like, oh, it's De Gea's fault. Like the the one that got me was when they lost in the finals to the Europa League, what, last week? I think it was. Um, and it was because it came down to penalties and he missed his penalty. It's like, he's a goalkeeper. Like, how often do goalkeepers take penalties? You know, like everyone was blaming him for that when it was like, you know, it, like if Manu were supposed to be the favourites to win, it shouldn't have gone to extra time. It shouldn't have gone to penalties. Um, yeah, I, I think, unfortunately, a lot of fans and stuff, they take it way too far. Like, I get you being passionate for stuff, but you've got to... You've got to know when you're taking it too far. And some, some people, unfortunately, don't know. And then even telling them that, they'll get offended by it. Uh, they have a fi like they feel like there's some privilege for them being a supporter or something that their opinion matters more than the person themselves. Um, yeah, it's it's just one of those unfortunate things. Um, like I said, De Gea has been great for Manu. It's just obviously the the past couple of years the mistakes have been growing and that's what people take away from it. Um, yeah. But I'm I'm very happy well, that Dean Henderson's getting pressure. more time because I thought he was amazing for Sheffield United uh, last season. Uh, not the one, just gone the one before. And then when Manu called him back, I was like, oh, I really hope he does start playing for them. And then they've actually now started playing him a bit more and he's actually been quite good. Um, and yeah. Um, like, it, for me, he could potentially be England's next goalkeeper. Um, I think at the moment... He's one of the three that have been picked. I think it's him, Pickford, Sean. and Johnston from West Brom, I believe. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm very happy that he's got an England call-up as well. I think he's really good. Um, Bruno and we'll, we'll see how it goes uh, when he, it's with ideally, next season gets a full season in goal. Um, the yeah, that's pretty much my Marcus thoughts on it. Rashford. Might be a chance um, I think Manu need to get themselves a new centre back because uh, Maguire and Lindelof as a combo doesn't work. Maguire and Bailly doesn't work. Lindelof and Bailly doesn't work. Uh, I think Jones is probably leaving soon. He's like fourth or fifth choice at best. Uh, Twan Zabi could possibly be decent for them, but yeah, um, I I think unfortunately Lindelof isn't that quality to match well with and Maguire so and like Maguire's not the 80 million signing that like I think 50 United. would have been a, like a standard price well, Derek, for Maguire 80 million does kind of seem a bit like you know um yeah we won 3-0 in a I think but yeah like I said like I I think that sort of stems from Van Dyke being 75 million and a lot of people had the same thing where they're like 75 of Van Dyke, the guy who just got relegated with Southampton, and then you know he's gone and proved himself. Um, 
Ooh, Barcelona one for 32. Yeah, like, see, that's the thing as well. It's like, his value is now 29 million, whereas this 80 million thing that they signed him for is worth is actually 30, essentially. Uh, so Maguire could be going to Barcelona. Hmm, interesting. Um, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I think just from like Van Dyke and how well he did, I think people were sort of like, it's warranting them spending a lot more money on a player because they think it might... Ooh, Cavani. Liverpool for 24 and a half. Uh, yeah, why not? Um, but yeah, like, like I said, it's, it's one of those things where I think uh, the whole success of Van Dyke has sort of led to people... Um, Thinking that they can be worth more, but we'll, we'll see. All right, we got Lille, uh, the the winners of the French league, uh, which was a nice surprise. It's nice to see that it's not PSG. Oh, uh, why is Pogba on the left? Ah, uh, I don't know. I'll uh, I'll let it happen. See what happens. Um, I'll like after this tournament, I'll check the scouting thing and then we can see who's where and the match begins and it crossed the touch line so a throw in here Renato Sanchez. They've given it away. Oh, in with a chance! Oof. He had just the goalkeeper to beat. He's got it completely wrongly. Well, he won't be watching that when he gets home tonight on a replay. Renato Sanchez. A really effective shielding under pressure. André. Jeremy Pierre yeah. with it. Um, I'll and probably make a prediction now. for... Really uh, so basically, once all the sales and stuff have been sorted, I'm going to try and predict who my player of the season is going to be. Um, but like, yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, what was I thinking? Oh, uh, I need to do a video at some point of my Euro predictions, like Euro 2020 slash 2021, because obviously it's taking place in a couple of weeks. I think it starts this weekend. Um, and it's just wide. So me and my family have basically done like a pick from the hat to pick More your team. So I'm going to basically go United. with that, and then I'm going to have Trump my me. predictions on who oh I think could actually win the He's Euros. Um, and I'll do I things like shock of the Fantastic tournament indeed. or you know underperformance of the tournament, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I, I think that'll be fun to do. Hey, Cavani's got a goal. He's doing well. A bit sloppy in possession. Renato Sanchez. He's protecting it effectively. Here's Renato Sanchez. Jeremy Pierre with it. And the emphasis is on creativity. David. Well, they really had to be on their toes defensively given the circumstances. Fruitful looking attack. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. Bruno Fernandes in behind for him to chase. Now Paul Pogba. Half time, one nil, doing pretty well. And the ball moving again, advantage United, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns here. Scott McTominay, Edinson Cavani now, giving it a try. A fairly routine for any goalkeeper. Corner awarded. Well, no end product. Yazici. Jeremy Pierre with it. Seem to be doing all right so far. I might do Jonathan some subs David. in a bit because Greenwood and Cavani look like they're getting a bit tired. 
And Renato Sanchez with it now. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. And we're inside yeah, the final a couple of... 30 minutes. Yazici. I forgot how to uh, substitute. Uh, right. So Martial can come on for Cavani. Uh, James can come on for Greenwood. I think that'll be fine. And then if needs be, I'll probably throw Matic or Tellers on for sure. Andre with it. Can he play it in? Making progress. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. See if that makes sure. any changes. Fred with it. Maguire. Got Shall some lovely play vision. in the middle. Oh, look, James on the wing. And a fine stop. It's not even James, that was Wamba Saka. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. <laughs> oh, that was a crap Can corner, wasn't calm. it? And he clears the danger. He might yet finish. It's there for him. Well, he made that intercept. Real Oof. chance. Hey, it's a goal. Scott McTominay. They are the big favourites now. So, 2-0 now. Looks like another win for us. Scott See if we can keep the clean sheet. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Oh, and a bit too much. Luis Araujo. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Luis Araujo. Weya. Not messing around with that clearance. So, because I don't have someone on the left. Maybe I could sign Barnes. Apologies if you hear noise outside. Uh, I basically live in front of the main road and sometimes people around here like to be noisy with their vehicles all right two nil i'll take that it's probably seen where this is all taking place why buy and just one i guess International. Oh, I'm just being told about international management. Um, I think normally, like sometimes they tell you like which teams could be interested. Come on, he's gone. I guess Marshall's going to be playing up front. Maguire sold, Cavani sold. Alright, let's sort this team out. Um, I'm going to check transfers. Oh, okay. Some have actually come up. Uh, Ketia, Immobile. How much have I got? I could probably sign Immobile. That'd be an interesting one. Hey Adams. Alright, what's my budget at the moment? 149 million with 291 with 906. Alright, keep them overlay in mind. First in quality. Could sign Madison. He's got a release clause. 84 for 31 million. Illichic I could get. Ward Prowse, he's pretty good. Neves. Dina, left back. Got Bailson, worth 82. On the right. But the thing is, I've got Bruno Fernandes, so I don't think Manderson will be a good signing. I could. I'll tell you what. Shortlist. Ask the scout. Shortlist. Add the scout. Um, same with him. 
Um, what else have I got here? Wingers. Ooh, Ferran Torres. Shortlisten transfer hub. Could go for Grealish. This thing's not too bad. Um. Ooh, Ricardo. Oh, oh, but he's got a release clause. Damn it. Quadrado's a right back. Yeah, but Pereira's also a right. I'm going to try signing Pereira. Um. Right, I need a centre back because I sold Maguire. Um, yeah, I kind of just asked for everyone here, haven't I? Bolly could be a decent one, maybe. I'll come back to that one later. And then goalkeeper, first team quality. He's 85. Say two and a half. Shortlist him. Right, I'll try sign Pereira and Gulashi, whatever his name is. Uh, hopefully they don't ask for too much. Um, so Pereira approach to buy. Let's put let's put sixty. See what he says. Yeah, sometimes the manager goes over and sometimes it's someone else, but it looks like I've got Brendan here. Hello, Brendan. Alright. Offer transfer fee. I'm gonna put 60. How does 60 sound? It's gonna be like, I want 90. Alright, 80 max. 80 will be max for me. I'll take 73. Yes, I'll take 73. Uh, negotiate. Because Pereira is a really good right back. Like, unfortunately, he did get injured last season, but he's like, re he's really solid for them. Uh, crucial. Um,. I say three years. No release clause. That's fine. Uh, wages. I'll budge up to 130. Um, add bonus. Bonus type. Clean sheets. If you get 10, I'll give you an extra 2 million. Yeah, Pereira's coming to United. Uh, and then the goalkeeper. I'm going to go for 40. That's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for 40 million. How does 40 sound? He's 30. Yes, thank you. Negotiate. Yeah, fine. You can be a crucial player. Three years? Yeah, fine. <laughs> He's doing it all for me. Yeah, you can hold extra skip. That way I don't have to sit through the thing the whole time. 89,000. Yeah, again, fine. Completely fine by me. Okay. Um, right. Uh, right, so what have I got at the moment? 678k budget, 177 million transfer budget. Do I go for him? I'll I'll wait. I'll I'll see what happens with him. I believe. Um, let's go back to the squad because I don't want that striker up front. Whoever the hell he is. 
a shout up front. I guess James could sit on the left. Do I put Tellers in for sure? Yeah, I guess. I guess Bai will sit in defense. Ah, oh, they're here already. Okay. Um. So steady you. Mambasaka. And then steady you. Glassy. In for Henderson. Um. Do I put Van der Beek in here? Okay, I think everyone else is fine. Um, I just need a, I need someone on the left, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Quick sim the training day. So we got Napoli next. Yeah, so so far, I've sold three and I've brought in two. Oh, of course, I don't have Maguire anymore, so I need a captain. Um, yeah, so let's change the roles, shall we? Squad. Yep. Uh... Captain Fernandez. Fernandez does everything. Yes. Um. Tell you what. Can we check the current um? I do have a transfer uh, history at the moment. Is this just my transfer? Oh no, here we go. So Grove's gone to Augsburg. I normally only care about Premier League ones or ones that I actually know. Hudson and Doyle's gone to Crystal Palace. Interesting. Draza's to Aston Villa. De Vrij has gone to Spurs. Interesting. Perisic to Lazio. Priority and I have the United. Um, Quiet to Barcelona. Giovanni to Liverpool. Probably to West Ham, Rashford to Inter. Ah, some of these have been free agents. So the most expensive one is Rashford to Inter, followed by Priority United. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay. It's always fun to see who ends up where. Right, we've got Napoli next. An absorbing match in prospect. Manchester United get the ball rolling. A strong play here on the shielding front. Fred. And with that, the attack fizzles out. The Red Devils have lost the ball. Decent position for the Partenope to be in. Martial. Seem to be doing all right so far. Comes to absolutely nothing. Koulibaly. Oh Rui. yeah, I forgot. Koulibaly was Ozzie meant to be like a big, like a big rumor to either go to like Liverpool or Man U, possibly even Man City. That seems to have gone quiet so far. Scott McTominay. 
Okay, that was a long ball to no one. Fred setting off perhaps a little bit too much here and space to cross it and there to intervene. Didn't go well. Oh, they could be on the counter attack here. Mario Rui. Zielinski. Not a very complicated catch. Oh, good save. Good save. Yeah, I definitely need a new centre back, and I need someone on the left. They're the they're the main ones I need to fill. Well, and after that, it's top. whatever I want, I guess. Now Paul Pogba, Alex Teres, and that was a very fun okay. Read. Don't know why they were doing that. And the cross is very much on. Oh, look at Pogba go through. Oh, just the clearance that was called for. And continues his run. Bruno Fernandes. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. You say Fernandes. It's Fernandez. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. Able to close down the shot, foiling them effectively. All right, what are, what are the stats at the moment? Alex Tellez. Well, so there's been the two shots. They've ahead. had one on target Making and we've sure had one that was blocked. Toward. And that is that okay. first half here in the French capital. Nothing so away they go. notable the in that half. half underway. Well, these fans have paid for their tickets. We're getting paid to do this commentary. I'm thinking of going home. Just what they're thinking. Bruno Fernandes. Martial. On to Bruno Fernandes. McTominay. Electing to cross into okay, the Okay, so it's like Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes. Hey, Bruno scored. Tremendous goal. Zielinski. Bruno Fernandes. Mason Greenwood. Lindelof now. Martial. Ricardo Pereira. McTominay. On to Bruno Fernandes. A really effective shielding under pressure. Using his strength to shield the ball. It's going to be United's free kick. Delivered into the box. And he clears the danger. Overcooked that one. Well, it was completely miscontrolled. Victor Ozimhen. Zielinski. In possession, Baka Yoko. Options in the middle. At times they make passing look easy. Mario Rui, and here's Bakayoko. On to Mario Rui. Tiamue Bakayoko. Still not play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Oh. Played in there. Oh, he's got it. Okay. Just holding up the time, I guess. Bailly. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain no one is leaving because it's still close. Late in the game, Napoli with work to do. Who's to say what happens next? And now they have the ball back. This could be dangerous if he's not careful. A decisive clearance it was. A creative look about this, and there goes the final whistle. Manchester I'll, I'll take a 1 0 win. Winners today, anyway. That's three wins out of three, top of the table. I'll take that. I'll take that indeed. Right, so Neves, final scout report, Ward Prowse, Madison, Matter transfer offer. PSV for 10 million. Yeah, yeah, sure. Have Matter, I'm not using them. Uh, okay. Oh, he's 82. Three days left to scout. Oh, he's got a release clause of 67 million. No! 82 in the center. He's an 82 in the center. Ward Prowse is an 80. He's good on free kicks, though. 
I might sign them just because. Nah, because then I'm just stacked in midfield. Nah, I'll tell you what, I, w I will actually. Oh, so this is just a listing thing. This is just a scout, it's not the actual transfer bit. Uh, transfers. Ooh, Martinez has come up. 84. Um. Oh, he was an 87. He's got less wages as well. I'll give it a few more days. See if anyone else comes up. And then I'll uh, look into that one. Right, so... Oh, right, i got to go on my shortlist. I'm being dumb. That's what I'm doing. Transfer hub. Offer to buy. I'll go for 50. No, I'll go for 45. If they ask for more than 60, then I just won't. Uh, 45, please. 19 and a half and you want one sack Yeah, sure. I'll take that because I've got Pereira now. So I guess they just want to fill the space. And that's fine by me. To me, that was a uh, tactical transfer for Pereira. I knew what I was doing. Uh, you will be important. Yes. Five. Yeah, I'll give you five years. Uh, disregard really. Yeah, why not? Sure, you can have a hundred thingy release. Really you want less wages? Ugh, I think Madison's always wanted to come to United. Ward Prowse, offer to buy. I'm going to offer 30. If they go more than 40, deal's off. I'll give you 30. Twenty-six, and you want McTominay? Sure. There's another one gone for you. So I can have Ward Prowse and Madison in the middle. Maybe Neves. If Fernandez goes, then Madison can move forwards, and um, then I can have those there. Ward Prowse wants to be important. Fine by me. You can take Fred's place. Uh, four years. Uh, no release clause. He wants eighty-one thousand. Sure, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it just fine. All right, Neves. Uh, let's go fifty. I might not be able to actually buy thingy now. I just realised from signing these players, which is fine. Like I said, I could still sell some players in that time. Uh, fifty. I've just got Madison. So, um, remove you, player swap, midfield, who have I got? Papa, give you Van der Beek. I'm not using him. Yeah, Van der Beek and. Oh, yes! There we go. So, essentially, I've just swapped. Neves for Van der Beek without paying for him. I believe. I'll take that. Important. Um, four years. Wow, Neves is only 23. Cool. Disregard release clause. And he wants 66,000. Less wages. Again, just like Madison. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, right, so Barnes and Torres I'm waiting on. They'll be my next ones. Martial might be fine. Uh, I don't really care about youth, to be honest. Right, so. Neves can sit there. 
swap Matic for Ward Prowse, James Madison there. Ward Prowse, you take Fred's place. Why is he minus four? Is it because they're technically defensive midfielders where they're sat? Yeah, that's why. Um, can I change that so that's central mids? I want the other four one four one, don't I? Ah, but then it's a central four with a. There, there we go. That's what I want. I want that four four one one. There we go. That's better. I said before, I just need someone there instead. Um, I need a centre back as well. So I'll check the rest of the transfers and I'll see who I can get in. And if I can do a defensive swap, I'll do a defensive swap. Uh, let's see, transfers. So let's check these. Moutinho, 81. Illichich as well. Left back, which I'm mostly fine for. I've got Greenwood there, so I think that should be fine. So they're still scouting them at the moment. Oh yeah, but I forgot he has release calls, doesn't he? Yeah. I'll tell you what, let's... I'll change that winger one in a second. Um... Oh, I might actually try signing him. Let's see if let's see if I can actually get him. And then I'll I'll edit some of those scout instructions. So they're just like a pacey winger or something. Hello. I would like to offer a transfer fee of 50 million and can I offer you Bye as well <sighs> uh, I'm not paying 95 million I'll pay 75 Okay, just knock twenty million off, and yeah, sure, you can have him. Okay, I'll take that. You can have, you can have Bai. I'll take uh, Kula Bali off you. Now that's a decent defender to have. Oh, absolutely, you're crucial. Absolutely. Three years, yeah, sure, f fine by me. Uh, no release clause, good. Just doing everything I want. Salary. I'll give you a two up. I'll give him 150,000 with a million signing bonus and for every 10 clean sheets you can have 2 million. Yeah. I got Kule Bali. Okay, let's change some of these scout instructions whilst we're at it. Uh, so got okay. I can probably get rid of some of these now, actually. So remove that because I don't need a goalkeeper. I'll keep centre back. Uh, I'll keep full back. I'll make that one a winger as well. Winger. Uh, let's say just let's say just pacey, just pacey. Um. Edit that one. Striker. 
aerial threat attack minded. I'll take Pacey off. There we go, that'll do. Um, and then, do I change this? I'll, I'll change, let's remove that one. Um, let's say, left mid. Um, playmaker. And then this one, so yeah, that they'll do. They 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 should do. And then from there, I'll 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 see what happens. Right. So, because I've now got Kulavali, there he is. Boom! Look at that, eighty-eight overall. Yeah, so if I can get a left wing and a right wing, I think that'd be fine. And then I'll just rotate around to whatever. I think, in a way, I... If needs be, I think I can change it so I have three centre attacking mids. As well, so then I can have Madison Fernandez and Pogba. I know Pogba is technically just a centre mid, but then that's how I can put him in. Right, so I'm going to save for now just before I forget. Should we see if any other transfers have happened in that time as well? Oh, Mendy's gone to Fulham. Interesting. Um, Smallbone to Real Sociedad. Victor Moses to Atletico Monaro. Pocket to Everton. Um, Ortega, Southampton. I think I've seen that one before. Yeah. Basham to Angers. Yeah, yeah, not too much different. It'd be interesting to see who Leicester signs in now, considering I've just took two players from them. I guess technically they've got one Basaka. Alright, let's see how this team does. game to save her. Manchester United kick off and that will be the keeper's ball Ricardo Pereira Bruno Fernandes has it Ward Prowse Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Ben Asser. Kessier has it. Chalanolu. Mandzukic. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And a goal! 1-0 it is! They oh, well that's not a good start, is it? And now they have it! Oh, no! So the game has been restarted. It's Milan in front here. I don't think the formation change worked. Go a bit more attacking. That might help. Lindelof. Ruben Neves. Hit Lindelof. And the free kick awarded to I think that bugs United. me so. He says Ruben Neves, not Neves. Ward Prowse. Martial. Right, so Neves is number 15. Ward Prowse is number 14. Bodies forward. Um, looks on. 
Madison is number seven. Cool. He's got the number seven spot. Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. The fist of the goalkeeper. Mason Greenwood. See some progress with the ball at his feet. Well, Derek, they're not happy. They're goalkeeper. Oh, I forgot Donnarumma's number 99. Yes! Martial! Who find themselves now level. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Anthony Martial. And that's an important intervention. Playing advantage here. United keep it. Real danger. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Chalanolu. Can they take advantage? Oh, Alas, he's that made his move too early. Offside. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Looks promising this. Can they forge ahead? My goodness, Oof. that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Kessier. Come on, it's been more than one minute. <laughs> there we go. Right. Let's make some substitutions. So I'm going to bring Pogba off and put James on. I know he's a right mid, but it's better than playing a centre mid there. Did not oh, I didn't save the formation. Oh, that's enough. Oh, I guess because it changed. Um, oh, that makes it even worse. Bloody hell. Um, what happened to my 4 1 4 1? I guess I just stuck with the other one. Maybe I didn't save it. I could do that. That might help. Oh, there you go. I could do that. Like nothing on the side. That that's that's what, what I need. I need four three three. Um definitely not that one. Definitely not that one. Um, I'm just messing around formations here, seeing what I can find. Back? Uh, no. 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 They don't look good. Okay. I'll go. I'll stick with that. So if I do get wingers, then I can sit it like this, and hopefully this works. But for now, we'll 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 see what happens. Fred seems to be doing all right. Oh, he's a central defensive. Well, I might be selling Fred soon, so let's try that, and we'll see how it changes. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. And they've won possession again. Throw oh, he given. didn't get it on time. Just wanted to get it out of there. Lindelof. Mason Greenwood. Bruno Fernandes. Can he put them ahead? Come on. They had to oh. react. And did. Now what can they do? Peter Bali's going too oh, far up forwards. Okay, he's back. Ray Beach. Here's Mandzukic. Now oh, that would be straightforward for any keeper. Given away by Marcelo. Oh yeah, Dallo. Forgot he was at Manu briefly. Didn't really do much Excellent there. Excellent challenge. Ward Prowse. Well, they could run onto it here. Fruitful looking attack. And a oh. goal kick is the outcome. Oh. 
Hernandez. Rade Krunic. Good technique displayed. Romagnoli. Now that ball looks promising. Every pass hitting its target. And across the touchline, so a throw in here. Greenwood. The ball with James Ward Prowse. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Manchester United venture forward. Do they have a winning goal in their future? James. Ruben Neves. Alex Tellez. Can he play it in? And he's banded against the woodwork with the header. Well, we're talking in. She's so, so close with his head. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Plenty of forward momentum here. Oh, they've got Ibrahimovic. I forgot. All right, this could be a draw. Could get a last minute winner. Ward Prowse. On to Bruno Fernandes. Oh. Ah, oh, penalties. Oh no. Uh, right. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's <sighs> okay. Well, oh, I've never had this before. Oh, fa come on, Bruno. And this time it's in. And in it goes. Yes. He really is a true force of nature. Oh no. This is intense. Oh, that's fine goalkeeping. oh no. Concentration. No. They just need to score two goal. more. Oh no. Clinical as always in front of goal. I see them ward house. And he finds the net. He could Ah, they've won. They've won. Oh well. We got to the semi final. We got to the semi final. I think we get some prize money, just not much. Like maybe a million or so. Alright, so Ferran Torres has been scouted. Harvey Barnes has been scouted. Oh, never mind. He's not going. Okay, we got three million, so that's not too bad. Okay, uh, transfers, transfer hub, on. So they're both overall eighty-one. One's on the right, the other one's on the left. Club is interested in loaning this player out. You can try approaching the purchase to look for their options. Uh, uh, no, I'm not paying 67 million just to get to negotiations. I'm going to just try and buy him and see what happens. Uh, I would like to offer 40 because it's all I have. Thank you. Thank God. All right, come on, RV. You can come with us now. I have no money. I might have to budget the transfer budget. Important, yeah? Yeah, you're going to be playing where Pogba plays, so... Five years? Absolutely. No release clause? Good. Good. And less wages. Yep, they seem to be really nice at Leicester and Wolves. Uh, I'll come back for him because I need to adjust the wage budget. I still won't be able to afford him because if I put the wages all the way down, I only have that much.
Like, I'm really not getting much out of this. Uh, no. Okay, so I'll just have to hope I sell people for a decent amount before I can buy anyone else. Squad. So instead of Pogba. Let's just sit Fred there for the time being. We're going to put... Have your bands. That will do. That will do nicely. Okay. So let's try that. Let's advance the time to the opening day of the season. Right, what have we got? Williams. Benfica. One in for 12 minutes. Yeah, fine. Fine. Accept the offer. This is probably where it starts breaking down. I mean, he's literally third choice left back, so you know. Oh, have Arsenal signed someone. Hang on, go back on that one. About 47.3 million. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Lindelof for 29.6. Yeah. Please take him. Please. That'd be more money for me. And then I can... I'll probably fill that space with a semi-decent one. Williams transfer talk breakdown. Of course I do. Like I said, there's, there's always somewhere they just never leave. Oh, they've got Sergio Roberto. Interesting. Alright, Lindelof's gone. And Fred could go to Inter for 26 and a half. Interesting. Sheffield United want Jones. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Fred's gone. That's here. I want Elanga for a million. Fine by me. Matic. Yeah, sure. Again, players I'm not using. I've already got space. If someone gets injured, I can. I've got a replacement. Okay, let's see what other transfers have gone down in this time. Oh, I could have Giroud come to United. Gerhardt to Southampton. Aubameyang to Real Madrid. Interesting. Rusi to Chelsea. Chowdhury to Freiburg on a loan. Um... Cincinnati, Ariata to Verde Bremen on a loan, Timo Puki to Udinese, interesting, Modric to Liverpool, hmm, uh, El Cadori to Crystal Palace, Lucas Mora to Inter, not Inter, sorry, Juventus, Grealish to Manchester City for 60 million, Guess he's taking Sterling's place. Right, so let's sort it by value then. So Koulibaly's the most plus Bailly, then it's Rashford to Inter, then Madison. 
A lot of it's me. Ginter to Arsenal, 47.3. Modric Liverpool. Lacazette to Milan. I guess I'm relying on youth strikers then. Should be interesting. Uh, right, so what budget do I have now? 56 million, 600, right. I'll budget that down a bit because I don't need 670,000 wages. There you go, I guess that'll do. Um, I don't need a striker though, do I? I just need someone on the wing. Divock Origi could be a backup. Ketia could be a backup. Jo I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm going to see about getting Giroud. And I'll have him as like a backup striker. Winger. Uh, well, he's already gone. I've got Barnes now. 51 million though. Hmm. I guess there's potential there. Fullback, centre back. Oh, Garcia. Dyer. Holgate. Out of Viroud. I could get out of Viroud. He's quite cheap. He's got a good overall. I'll, I'll try getting those two. Mina, Johnny Evans, Thiago Silva, he's cheap, got good overall. I might go for those two. Uh, everyone else, there. Yeah. Um, ah, there we go. Martinelli left mid, I've already got that though. Oh, if only I had that money. Jaden Sancho, again, if I had that money, I would. Obviously, that's been the big talk for the past whole year, is, is Sancho coming to United? My Lassar, he's pretty good. Oh, then there's just the left midfielder, Cantwell. What's Cantwell's picture? I guess that's true. Senior, Thorgan Hazard, Pablo Fanals, Radonic, Jack Grealish. He's obviously gone now. And immediately his overall is boosted to 83. Um, right, let's go in the transfer hub. I'll go for... Let's do Giroud and Thiago Silva. And I'll basically just go with the standard price for them. And I'll see what happens. But I'm going to make them... So Thiago Silva is going to be important. I think he's going to be a... Uh, Jury's going to be a squad player. Right. Off a transfer fee. 10 million. You want James? Yeah. I mean, I've got Barnes now, so. And it's, it was only 550,000, so I'll take that. Uh, important. Cool. Year contract? Yeah, sure, why not? This will look our release quality wants eighty three thousand fine by me. I've got Giroud. Um and Tiago Silva. Let's do the same thing. But standard price. Um So 
So, 13 million. Yeah. I'll take that. Thiago's going to be important, uh, crucial, even. Him and Koulibaly can be next to each other. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, exactly. He, he knows what I'm on about. Two years. Yep, fine. Absolutely fine. If you don't want to release clause. Nope. And 60... Yeah, less wages. Sure. Based on appearances. Absolutely. Um, remove and... Do I go Taurus for group? No. Nah, because he's, he's the same overall. So. Uh, Alright, let's check the squad. So, what we got? We've got Barnes, Greenwood, Fernandez, Ward, Prowse, Neves, Madison's on the bench. I'm bringing Thiago Silver in now. Drew's only 79, but he's just going to be important, so I can stick him there. Should be fine. Alright. There we go. Oh, I'm glad you can actually do that. That's actually quite nice. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. That's that's pretty good. That's a pretty good team right there. Yeah, so I've got three lesser players. <laughs> uh, right. Trading. I've done quite well, I think. Langasol, Twenzebi, West Brom. Yeah, you can have him. You can have him. See if he's actually sold. Matic isn't going. Jones has been sold. That's fine. Fine by me. Quick sim that. I'll play until we get to the end of the transfer window. Does AB sold? There we go, Premier League. I guess Fulham assigned someone. Luke Shaw to PSG for 40 million. Yeah, yeah, they're offering more than his apparent uh, price target. So I'll take that. Uh, yes, you are, because you're the only one in that position I've got. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let's talk to the media. Let's see what they want to say. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Hello. Man United fans have been enjoying what they've been seeing from the team in pre-seasons. Can they expect more of the same once the serious games kick off? How's the atmosphere? In the oh, I think it's real! What's the mood ahead of your first competitive game? I'm happy with what we've got here. I think this is a very competitive squad. Plenty of quality and a great attitude. The boys have been working really hard. I feel it's a team I can trust. Oh, come on! You're not letting me read it! A lot of people talk about your team at the moment. Your supporters expect to see you qualify for Champions League this season. Do you think your team can handle that pressure? Absolutely! 
Of course, it puts an extra weight of expectation with the players' shoulders, but I know they're good enough to play in the Champions League. I'm confident the boys can handle the pressure and get the job done. You brought your rooting for Chelsea, and it's clear that if the move works, you'll grab on the bargain the season. Come expect him to get a chance off the bench at the Newcastle day. Oh, absolutely. He'll get the time he needs. Rookie to get Giroud involved. We're very optimistic he can make a big game in the back club. I want to move around the squad this time, and then let's uh, just see how things go in the day. Right, guys, Thank you. I'll not take any more questions. Yeah. So, I'll bring him on for Martial at like the 70th minute. Um, so, squad, just want to make sure it's still the same. Yep. Bruno Fernandes is an overall 88. Groomers are 78 plus 4, Barnes 81 plus 2. Um, yeah, it's a very, to me, it's a very solid squad. I like what I've got here. Um, let's play this game. Well, we'll sim it. Should be interesting. Uh, oh, yeah. I tell you what. Speaking of Newcastle, uh, an interesting way to talk about something during the um, during the time. They've probably had one of the best lone stars uh, this season, apart from Lingard to West Ham. Uh, Joseph Willock on loan from Arsenal to Newcastle has been phenomenal so for them. Either they try and do something where they can loan him again or He's buy him for a cheaper price depends on the, de the wage demands or Arsenal take advantage of that and actually start playing him ahead of Aubameyang and Lacazette because I think unfortunately with some of the bigger clubs Richie. they care more about name Amiru. power rather than quality uh, and like if they spent a lot on a player they feel like they have to get their money's worth out of for example Chelsea with Werner uh, he's been probably the worst well, signing this season and here. basically unfortunately because they paid that much for him they consistently the play him and he consistently throwing. doesn't do anything but yeah like I said um, look for Newcastle there. has been great I think he had like seven goals in seven games like originally coming off the bench and then they started playing him and he actually defending. kept scoring so hopefully that goes into next season because Willock is a promising striker for England and for Newcastle slash Arsenal and I'll be excited to see what he does next season um, yeah I think that's the thing with some players like Lingard's a massive example as well uh, like a lot of people criticize them for not doing much but if you don't give them the time how can they prove their worth uh, you know Lingard as soon as he went on loan to West Ham people were like oh okay like this should be interesting and he actually started doing really well. Like, he even got Player of the Month at one point. Um, I think Willock got Player of the Month for Newcastle as well. Um, but it just shows how if you give some players more time, they can actually do something. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, like some of the bigger teams, because of the size of the squad they have, some players just don't get that opportunity. Um, so yeah, I'll, like, I'll be interested to see if Lingard and... Um, Lingard and... We look, see if they stay at the clubs that they're currently at, or if they make a permanent well, move to West Ham slash Newcastle, or if they go somewhere else. I guess we'll see. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Hey, that was That's not the, the best kind of clearance. Play you expect from it. Chance to put them in front. Oh goal. no! That will do it. Oh, they've Basuma. They've got Basuma from um, from Brighton. So United Apparently he, he was game. set to go to a big club conceded, after this season. Uh, Apparently he's like the target for Tremendous Arsenal challenge. or Liverpool or someone. Might be onto something with that ball. Come on, Manu. Let's change it to attacking. Ruben Neves. Mason Greenwood. Ward Prowse. All right, half time. Um. Let's carry on. Back underway then, and work to do for okay, United. I put it more attacking now, line. so when it gets to seventy, I'm gonna put Giroud in for Martial. To be a throw in. Unless Martial scores, Although I might put him in anyway. Martial, and will it be the leveler? And he oh, come on! The attack with a masterful tackle. In with a chance. There we go, Bruno. Bruno with the equaliser. They are level. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece.
Ruben Neves. Bruno Fernandes has it. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. There we go. Plays it back. An attack full Take of shot. promise. He's ah, had to for it. Wins the ball. Could be a chance to break here. And a throw okay, in it's going to be. Mason Greenwood. Now he must favour the cross. All right, I'll see how this attack goes. Now, sub from there. Through. Great pressure to win the ball back. We're doing well though. Prowse. Comeback could be on. To Bruno Fernandes. Talk to Bruno. <laughs> you got other players. Ward Prowse. It's with Ruben Neves. Ward Prowse. All right, Alice. Well to e okay. Uh, so I'm going to put Giroud on for Martial. Um. Oh, see, it's budged it again. Like, I need to change it so my attacking formation. I think I need to change the formation thing on the whatever it is. Um. Let's see. And then let's put Madison. Oh. Um. Yeah, let's let's put Madison there on the side. Um, all right. It's the pressure. Hayden. Joe Linton. United come away with it. Guys, he's down the wing. Bruno Fernandes, dangerous looking through ball. High ah. degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley line. Oh, I've got Barnes over there, not Pogba, have I? I probably should have brought Pogba. Got to wait for the ball to come down and. Ah, because he's not a central defensive midfielder, is he? I'll tell you, Ward Prowse for Pogba. Uh, that'll do. Um, where's the one that I had? Was it three? No, it wasn't that. Uh, it was a four. Oh, it was that, I believe. And then... Did I put Pogba on? I guess Fernandez is fine in that position then. Yeah. Neves, Greenwood, that's fine. Let's give that a go. And I'll see what happens. Oh, no, there we go. It's just changed it. He's very, very ah, unlucky. Whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Can they grab the lead late on? Well, that's one for them to pursue. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Could it be? Yes! We there we go, game. Bruno Fernandes Late with another drama. one. And now, they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. Like, Man have done that quite a lot this season. The uh, like they've, like, I think they had the most points from behind. I think, like, half their points were, like, winning from behind. Five minutes to go. Come on, let's hold this one. Hayden. Yeah, I've got to sort it so the formation stays the same. On the match day. Well, thumped clear. James Madison. It's with Ruben Nervous. Well, they're on the and there goes the final whistle. There we Manchester go. Two one win. The winners today. Okay. Um. Da, 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 da. Right, Shaw's gone. So, tell us we'll be playing that place. Now, what do I want? Do I want someone on the right wing? Yeah. So, because Green was actually not the same overall, is he? So. Right. Let's see what I've got here. Okay, well, I don't need to worry about strikers anymore because I've got Giroud and Martial. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what. Let's let's try signing Ferran Torres. Um, 
Right, what budget have I got? 121. Yeah, I can sign him. Approach to buy. Uh, I'll put. I'll go for 60. Ah, uh, there's Pep. I will offer you 60 million and 10,000. 72 is fine. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, to be honest, for a 20 year old, I'll take 72 million. Um, negotiate. Yeah, so I'm going to put two wingers instead of two left mid. So I'll keep the 4 2 3 1 formation, whatever it is. It's technically 4 3 2 1. Uh, yes, because you're going to be playing in Thingy's place. Um, four years. No release clause. Yep, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, wages. I'll tell you what. 110,000. Million signing bonus. Add bonus. Uh, goals. 10. I'll give you 1.2. Yeah, Ferran Torres, you're coming here. Okay, so squad. Uh, so Greenwood for Torres. So move you. Torres. Uh, up there. Right wing. Um, yeah, I'd say that's doing good at the moment. It's a very solid squad. Got a centre mid, a right mid, a left back, striker. Got two goalkeepers though. I hope one of them does get sold. Um, yep, keep that one. Uh, sure, whatever. Fernandez, Fernandez. Uh, I tell you what, right short free kick. Oh no, because Madison's not on, is he? Ward Prowse. Hey, okay, Ward Prowse is now my free kick taker. Uh, Fernandez can be the long free kick taker. Um, third foot right, so if he's on. Penalties. Well, Bruno's the best at penalties, so I'll keep it there. Okay. Um, save that change. I'll make sure it gets added to the match day squad as well. Mason Greenwood blows big chance. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. By not doing much. Right, let's have a look at the table. Leicester are win uh, top of the table. They won 4-0. Oh, but Man City did as well. Um, Everton third, Liverpool fourth. So we're 8th. West Ham won their game. Uh, Leeds to Crystal Palace drew theirs. Arsenal's a bit of a loss. Um, I wonder if I can actually check the results. Vardy scored twice, Manny scores twice, Ian Acho scored twice. Um, interesting. Foden to Real Madrid for 112 million. Bloody hell. Man City are making money. Uh, a lot of them are me. Zaha to Leverkusen. Abraham to Villarreal. Interesting. Jorginho to Atletico Madrid. Fitzel to Spurs. Draxler to, Draxler to Wolves. That's an interesting one. Okay. Um, Mendy to Juventus. Any interesting recent ones? 
Ashley Barnes to Mines. Mines, how you say it? Mary to Elba, I didn't get to a thingy. Griffiths to Mets. Williams, Isaiah Williams to Arsenal. Um, Delft to Crystal Palace on loan. Bernard to Florentina. Junior to Fulham. And Ketia to Leeds. That's interesting. Uh, yeah. Interesting indeed. Very interesting. Keep it going. I'll think about it. I might bring you one for Torres. Uh, right, we've got Brighton. Should be a, another easy game, hopefully. We'll see. You are based set for Brighton debut. No idea who you are. Newcastle. What's the lose for Newcastle? Oh, they've got Ben Mee from uh, Burnley. Interesting. Then Napoli. Who are they just signed? No one. Oh, no. David Alaba for 38.3 million. Interesting. Right. Uh, oh, that's why. Because it keeps doing Man United default. Uh, can I? What am I trying to do? Team management. Okay, so it should be. Oh, it's just trying to suggest that they're substituting me. Um, can I save this formation? Because it's annoying when it keeps trying to change it. Right, so please stay like that. Because I don't want it to do 4-4-1-1. It's probably going to change it again, which is annoying. Right, so I'll load it up, and if it does it again, I can just switch it afterwards. Right, I just want to see what they've done with it. No, it's still the same. Okay, that's fine. Harvey Barnes. Koulibaly, Anthony Martial, given away by yeah, I think Anthony I've got a pretty Isaac. decent squad here. So, a really again, the only and it's gone out players that are still in are Fernandez, Martial, everyone else. Oh, and Tellez. Everyone Davis. else I pretty much got a position for. Just knocking it Left back might be the next one. I've got Giroud as a backup difficult. striker. I've got Madison as a backup centre attacking mid. Nice looking pass. Um, now let's see what they can do here. Tal. Yeah, seems to be doing all right. Oh, a perfect ball now. How about this? Offside by a fraction. Lam, Joe, you know Lamptey was very promising at the beginning of the last season. Um, for Brighton, it was unfortunately he got injured. I think after that, it just didn't shine as much as he did. But Lamptey had a lot of potential. Alex Tellez. tremendous challenge. Lalana. It's with Welbeck. Well, no luck keeping possession. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. In Come on. To give them the lead, maybe. And the post oh, he's away. hit the post. Marshall hit the post. Giving it a try. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. I want one of the and new signings to, to score a goal, at least. This 
push it to attack him because they do Control better when I put them here. on attack him. Lallana, trying to chisel a chance out of it. Well, oh, good save, good save. The ball from the keeper. Tau. Tau. Yeah, there was an in, there was an in, like this match terms, in the, the previous nicely. season was a very interesting very one because uh, Manu essentially scored foul, after full time. It's weird. What it's weird next? to describe. So a goal from but uh, oh god, something's going on. Giant scrap. Giant scrap. Um, but yeah, basically there was a handball. Full time went. Then they went and looked back at it and they realised it was a handball, which then led to Bruno here. Fernandes' uh, penalty, which he scored, the and then full time. Bruno Fernandes, the ball with James Ward-Prowse, Ferran Torres, Good United ball. might be able to cash in, looking for the angle, Ferran Torres, no, nope. and that will do it for the first right. half here at the uh, Games. We'll, we'll keep going, it's, it's very, literally very even, of talking points so far, and now the second half is we underway. just had one more chance, that's all, but the possession was literally 50-50. Welbeck. Now he must favour the cross. Uh, Bobby Quick Cooper. Uh, thank you for following me on opponents. Twitch. I will follow you once. I, I tell you what, I can actually do Torres. that now. Uh, whilst this is going on. Uh, thank you for wishing me luck with the channel. Uh, sure I'll be honest. YouTube happen. is normally where more important things go. Um, yeah. Um, Bruno Fernandes. Yeah, I just added you. Um, yeah, like I said, like I may just use Twitch to basically record the gameplay essentially, and then I'll put it on my YouTube, which is our Billington 94, all caps. Um, like I used to use Mixer. Uh, basically, after I got my channel suspended for 30 days on Twitch for playing Mortal Kombat 11. Um, it was my second stream of it, which is weird about it. And basically, I messaged them asking about it, and basically, they didn't get back to me until two weeks after the suspension lifted. And Mixer came around, so I started using that. That was a lot smoother. Uh, and then that went, and then Twitch, I sort of just do every now and then. It's not a regular thing. Like I said, I'm more focused on YouTube than I am Twitch. The only reason I use Twitch is because there's an app on the Xbox for streaming through Twitch. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. But well, finally the deadlock has been broken. Not long to go now. So, uh, Marshall scored, which is good. Marshall's doing all right. Anthony Persito. Now Lalana. Dunk. Melendo. March. On the ball, Melendo. Options in the centre. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Someone's found the net at the London Stadium. Who exactly? Alan McAnally? It's a goal for Aston Villa. It's been scored by Gaston Ramirez. The fullback failed to deal with the cross from the left and he took full advantage to pounce and prod the ball home. Eight minutes remain. 2 1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally. Oh, we got this. Could just be a 1 0 win, but that's fine. Just taking our time with it. And just the one minute left in normal time here. And there goes the final there we result. Go. Manchester United are the winners. I'll take today. that. I'll take a 1 0. <laughs> oh, sorry, Greenwood. I forgot. I meant to sub you in. I'm sorry, Mason. Oh well. Um, right, what's Everton done? Sign Jan Kovrick for 2.5 million. Man City won 3 0. Body's on 4 goals now, bloody hell. Bowen's on 3, selling 2, Maris 2, Mane 2, Fernandez 2, and Nacho 2, Pulisic 2. Check the latest deals. Stein to Brighton, Sibley to Dortmund from Derby. Uh, Longstaff to Benevento. Um, ben Mee to Newcastle. 
Henderson to Bayern for 54 million. Bloody hell. Um, Rodrigo Fernandez to Montpellier. Alaba to Napoli. Sacco to FC Cohn. Lanzini to Leicester. Interesting signing. I guess they had to fill the central attack in mid spot after I did take Madison off them. Um, yeah. In interesting. Uh, Philo Petir, hello. Uh, I hope you're enjoying what you see so far. Uh, I'm doing a FIFA 21 My Career stream, uh, or Career Mode stream. Um, so basically, what I've been doing in this is I've been doing a bunch of transfers. Uh, I, I like to do this normally just for fun. Um, so essentially, I'll see if I can. Yeah, the, can I check my own transfer history? Yes, I can. So in my club, so I'll go from oldest to newest. So uh, I sold Rashford to Inter for 80 million. I sold Cavani to Liverpool for 24 and a half million. Uh, Maguire to Barcelona for 32 and a half million. I got Galassi from Leipzig for 40 million. Pereira for 73 million from Leicester. Madison for 19 and a half million. And Wan Bissaka. Uh, from Leicester, Ward Prowse, 15.1 million, and McTominay from Southampton, Koulibaly, 75 million, and Bailly for 75 million. I probably said 75 million twice there. Uh, Neves, 22 million, plus Van der Beek from Wolves, Harvey Barnes for 40 million from Leicester, Lindelof sold to Atlanta for 29.6 million, Fred to Inter for 26.5 million, Giroud I got for 550,000 pounds, plus Daniel James, uh, Thiago Silva I got for 13 million, uh, Ilanga sold to Lazio for a million. Jones to Sheffield United for 5 million. Tanzebe to West Brom to 90.2 million. Ferran Torres I got for 72.3 million. And Luke Shaw I sold for 40.9 million to PSG. Um, so yeah, like I said, I literally, like, I just enjoy seeing who I can and can't sign. Uh, the only rule I do is I can only get players based on the scouting results. So, yeah, essentially it's like I won't sign someone just because I want to. Like, They've got to show up in here, and then I'll go from there. It's kind of interesting that they're showing me Cavani again, because I did just sell him. Um, yeah. Uh, so it's just interesting to see what teams, or what players you can get in and out of the teams. Uh, I went for Man United because they have a much higher budget. Um, so far, I've won two games this season. Um, so we're all clean so far, which is pretty good. Uh, Manny and Vardy are currently top scorers. Odegaard's got three. Bowen's got three. Um, we're going to basically just play until the end of the season. Um, uh, simulate, fine, whatever. Uh, I accidentally pressed that one. Um, yeah, like I said, we're just we're just going to see how well we do when we get to deadline. Um, yes, exactly. Um, it it like I said, it it's a lot of fun to see what teams like what players can get in and out of the team so like if you look at it i've got like a massive improvement so i've got 88 and 85 in defense rather than 82 and 80 um i've got barnes on left wing torres right wing i've got ward prowse neves and madison for midfield options uh Giroud is a backup striker uh goalkeeper is over 85 and i got De Gea 86 i was kind of thinking he would have been sold uh, but he hasn't yet. Pogba's not been sold. Fernandez hasn't been sold. Like, no one's really come for them, which is interesting. Um, and then these are just all reserves that I'm not going to worry about too much. Um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's going well so far. So I'm quite happy with it. I'm going to basically finish this stream when I get to the end of the transfer window. And then probably tomorrow I'll come back for another couple of hours and carry on the season. I'll probably just do, like, one and a bit season. So I'll do this entire season. Um, like maybe two or three months at a time um, and then I will do um, basically the first transfer window of the next season and then I'll probably leave it at that um, yeah like I said it, it's a lot of fun to do uh, oh Romero's got a transfer up Besiktas won him for 5 million what's his value his value is 5 million so sure if you want to buy him um, the annoying thing as well is when you're trying to sell someone and transfer talks keep breaking down, that gets really annoying. Um, yeah. Oh, Matt has had a transfer offer as well. Uh, Ajax. I'm pretty sure... Oh, no. Uh, PSV tried to sign him. Apparently it's been accepted, but I'm going to do this as well. Um, oh, no. Sorry. Um, the last one for Matter broke down. So this one might break down as well. 
Uh, Sheffield United, um, they did do so well this past season, unfortunately. I had a lot of hopes for them, especially after last season. And it's very similar now. They're 19th. Um, Fulham are doing better than expected. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Spurs have won all three games so far. Fair play to them. All right, uh, play match. Uh, yeah, so what I do is I like to sim the matches and just watch along with it. I think that's one of the best things they added to this game. Uh, I used to miss it on like FIFA 2005, um, where you could sort of watch along with the minutes, and then they would tell you if someone scored or if they missed. Um, yeah, I just really enjoy this. It's like I know it's similar to Football Manager. The only Football Manager I played is Football Manager 2021 because it came on the Xbox rolling. One. Uh, got all the achievements in that, but I like, for, like I like with this that you get the option to jump in as well. So. If it's not going so well, you can jump in, fix it, jump back out. But uh, I haven't had to do that yet. Uh, light injury for Fernandez, not good. So in that case, Madison gets even more minutes. <laughs> Go on, Madison, on you come. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Right. Playing advantage here, United keep it. So hopefully that's not too serious. Um, if not, then Madison gets more play time, I guess. Jaden Bogle. Yeah, as you can see, I've I've signed three players from Leicester. I've signed Pereira, I've signed Barnes, I've signed Madison. Can they get uh, behind for, them? So I, I say family reasons, basically because of where Great I live anyway. Uh, we're all Leicester fans. Uh, personally, I do I did support Manchester United for a while. Um, these past few years, it's sort of like Must have been close. not like through disappointment in United's performance. Well. It's just I like ever since I started playing fantasy football, I sort of took a more appreciation just for football in general. But I pay more attention to what happens with Leicester. Um, I might play some games if it's a cup match. Like if there, if there's a cup match in August, I don't think there is. Um, was a move of great and if it goes really bad, then I'll jump in. in. Um, but I like to do it this way because it gets through the season a bit quicker. But yeah, like I said, if it's a big occasion, so um, this is yeah, let's say it's like a you Europa like League this, qualifying match or a cup match. Now I'll I'll play the cup match. Um, I like to do the draw as well. Oh, Ruben Neves got his first goal. Um, he's the first well, new Derek, signing right, to score for me because so far no, it's just been Martial be and Bruno Fernandes. Sure um, yeah. Uh, like I said, if, it, if it's a domestic cup, that's, that's what I was looking for, domestic ball. cup. I'll, uh, I'll play. So a throw in here. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Um, Marcial. Yeah, I think I've got a very the solid team. We could do very well with this, threat, this team. Out. Norwood. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Options in the centre. Will they get themselves level here? That's oh, good save. Corner kick forthcoming. An opportunity it's in the air, kick. but he's good. made a bit of a mess of that one. Oh, it's really a shocking effort. I could do better than that, and I can't head the ball. More than decent, this from United. Ruben Neves. Ward Prowse. Martial. They've got there we go, 2-0. They're doing everything Martial in their scored. power to make sure they're not pegged back. Half-time. Should be, in a minute. Yep. Uh, not going to do any substitutions. Everyone seems to be doing just fine. Uh, so like I said, unfortunately, Bruno here, Fernandez did pick up a light injury. And let's hope it's not too serious. Way. We'll see what happens so at the end of the game. The Hopefully it's just something bruised out. and can be sorted in a week. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Bogle. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close. Ruben Neves. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Can he take the chance? And able Come to on. get a body in the ah. way. Uh, oh, I might jump in if there's like a free kick or something as well. Uh, yeah, it like gives you the option to take it, and I'll I'll, I'll, I'll jump in for that. Especially with Madison on the pitch, I, I love scoring free kicks for Madison. Oh, three 0 Martial again. Martial could be my player of the season. This rate. 
Um, so could even get the golden boot if more. it keeps it up. Um, yeah, for uh, like on Ultimate Team, I got the achievement. Uh, I'm not new to streaming. I've streamed, I've on and off streamed for it about three years now. Well, pretty much since I moved away. into this place. Because now I live by myself, so I actually have the freedom to stream and play when I want. Um, well, like I said, I used, I used to stream a few now, years back on Twitch corner. on a very regular basis. And then the whole suspension thing happened, and then I started using doing mixer quite a bit, and then it I saw like I started to go on and off because it was sort of just like trying to find the energy and the time for it. I like with work had like different shifts, and I couldn't find a regular schedule, and then just finding the right games to play. Uh, so I try to be very sporadic my games. So you'll see I play games like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. I've tried to stream Gears 5, but whenever you try to do anything whilst playing Gears 5, it just messes up the game. Um, I've done Garfield Kart Racing. I've done Crash Team Racing. I've done um, NBA 2K20, NBA 2K21. I've done a few FIFA ones before, and if you check my YouTube channel, to 94 I put them all up on there, uh, as well as like Premier League review videos and stuff like that. Um, I've done WWE 2K21, WWE 2, not 2, sorry, not 2K21, sorry, WWE 2K20, I forgot they didn't even do 2K21 because of how bad 2K20 was. Uh, I've done uh, Xenon Racer, I've done... Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what else. But basically, if you check my YouTube channel, uh, you'll you'll see on there. Because basically, what I do is I'll stream, I'll download the video, and then I'll upload it throughout the night. So then it's up in the morning, um, ready to be watched whenever. Uh, so that way, I because obviously I think you get like a month on here that it stays on there and then it disappears. So yeah, um, I basically just put them on YouTube so they're there to watch whenever. Um, see ya. Uh, ooh, Romero has been sold. Now I'm down to four goalkeepers. Um, right, what we got coming up? Oh, we're coming towards the end of the month now. I think there's a final game on the... I tell you, if, if there's a game on deadline day, I'll play the game. Greenwood's got a transfer offer from Hoffenheim. I know he wanted more playtime, but oh, uh, I'm going to negotiate that because I don't want the player. Um, so I'm going to see if I can change it to seven for thirty. I don't, I don't, I don't need an extra player to be honest with you. Um, move exchange player, propose new transfer fee, twenty eight point nine. 20 million and a centre back. Counter. Remove him. 25.4. Okay, I'll, I'll take 25.4. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if he goes. It'll probably break down, but we'll see. So Man City won. <gasps> no! They bought Immobile. I, I hesitated on Immobile at the beginning of the transfer window because I was like, could I? Because he's overall 87, I could probably get him. And uh, yeah, turns out Man City. That's two players that Man City have done that with. Because I had that with Grealish. They've signed him for 60 million and now they've just gone and signed uh, Immobile. Um, so, how much did they pay for him? 95.6 million. Oh, well, yeah, because they've sold quite a few players, actually. Um, yeah, so the Grealish, they bought for 60. Um, I I bought Torres off them for 73 million, so, you know. Um, right, so let's go by recent. Uh, Diop to Cicero. Dan Byrne to Bordeaux. Uh, who else have we got here? Dwight Gale to Nantes or Nantes, however you say it, I don't know. Um, Josh King to Fulham. 
So, I don't know, I see a name, but he's gone to Spurs. Langlet to Inter. Cramrich to Barcelona. Interesting. Um, anyone else of interest? Karen Robinson to Dijon. Blazinga to Leeds. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, yeah, we'll see if there's a match on deadline day. If not, then I'll I'll go I'll go the next game along. Uh, oh, there you go. Matter's not been sold. Uh, Teller's got an offer. I may need to buy a left back. If that's the case, I will have to look into a left back. If he does get sold, though, that's that's the main issue. And I've accidentally clicked training day. Let's just simulate because I don't really want to play them. Um. Okay, so I've got I've got Chelsea there. I'll play that. It's Man U Chelsea. I'll I'll play Man U Chelsea. Greenwood sold. Okay. Um, Pogba. There we go. Man City for sixty four point seven. Yeah. Why not? Go on. Go on. You've had everyone. Why not? Um. I'm not going to be using Pogba anyway. I don't think. Uh, he would be a good backup, but you know. Oh, he didn't tell me what Neves. Uh, not Neves. Fernandez's injury was. He must have been fine. Um, right, so, I would think, if, if Tellers and Popper do get sold, I will look for a left back. Um, okay, welcome everyone. central midfield is fine. Um, so, difficulty currently is beginner, but when it comes to the match, I will budget up. Uh, I kind of accidentally did beginner by default on the the settings, you know, at the beginning. Um, the reason I normally play beginner is just like, it's, for example, on ultimate team, I'm just trying to pass the time to play 200 games. If you put it on beginner, they actually won't try and attack you. Uh, normally, difficulty wise, I'll play semi pro slash professional. Um, like I'll I'll start on like semi pro to try and get used to the game. Like if it's new. Because they always try new mechanics and all this crap. Um, need a strong squad, yeah. Um, but then I'll try and budget up to professional when I've played it on a more frequent basis. So they once so I'm used to everything. So I'll 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 put it up to professional for the match. Um, um, we'll we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, we're out of time, uh, unfortunately. Thanks. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Um, yeah, so I'll play this one. I'll put it on professional, and then after that, we'll we'll see what happens with all the other. Players and stuff. Uh, what am I doing? Customize. Uh, game settings. Professional. Uh, well, I'll keep it four minutes. I, I, I like my games nice and quick, to be honest. Um, it's one of those things where, like, after a while, it's sort of like I can only play so much of it before my brain just starts going like on meltdown. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll see what happens with this one. I should probably see if I've not pushed the sliders up as well. I I think the sliders are fine. I used to just like love messing around and just like see how far away I could score from. Um. So before the game starts, two English football clubs who have been very much front and center in recent uh, I'll, years. I'll check the settings, make sure that the sliders are fine. And this certainly falls in that category. Manchester As Timo Werner, probably the worst Cameron. signing that Chelsea had. Ziyech unfortunately EA hasn't TV. done much as well. But Werner's been more notable as well, to how not good he's no been. Uh, right, so before I kick off, I'm going to see if I like. I'm, I'm sure it's still. I'm sure it's still the same. I'm sure the default sliders. 50, 50, 50, 50. Uh, pretty, 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 pretty. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, okay. So, and you versus Chelsea. Chelsea. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the former England defender Lee Dixon. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is oh, that was a pass up. Oh, I've got the. Uh, on Chelsea. I like to keep yeah, the passing direction thing on because half the time when I pass, it just messes up, and I don't like it. So. Ah, oh, Fernandez is around. Oh. You might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. 
Why is Harvey Barnes all the way back here? He's a left winger. Yes! Get him, Marshall. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the great cross by Barnes the there. Marshall gets behind get on the end of it. with and the volley. It just gets better Bang. and better from there. Superb. Softly passing the volley into the net. Lovely goal. 1 0 then. 1 0. It's a good start. Good start. Let's join Alan McAnally because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Leeds United match. Ooh. Alan. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Ten minutes played, 1 0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Oh, yeah, Jimenez. Once again. Like, he's had the most unfortunate season. Like, I think he cracked his skull in a match. Um. And yeah, he's just been out for the rest of the season. And Wolves after that just melted down big time. I think they finished like 13th in the end. Uh, you can tell they've missed him and Ez a lot. Uh, hopefully he's back next season because he's a really good player. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, I've got Giroud on the bench. I'll probably bring Giroud on in the second half. Oh, it's Fernandez. Yeah! They don't have his signature celebration, though. Well, here's the replay, and as we see, it's a class ball through to split the defence, and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. It's going their way, 2-0. Ah, blocked it. Oh, no, it didn't go well. Yeah, uh, Chelsea ended up winning the Champions League uh, this season. Yeah, fair play to them. Kind of stopped Man City getting the uh, on and on he goes. Treble, I believe it was, because they won the Premier League. They won the Carabao Cup. Uh, didn't win the FA Cup. Uh, Chelsea lost that to Leicester. You know, um, that was an amazing moment for us. Unfortunately, I did have work before the final whistle. Um, but yeah, I got to watch the goal, which was great. Um, and yeah, and Chelsea won the uh, Champions League, so fair play to him. Uh, Havertz has definitely improved since the beginning of the season. Uh, I think for him it just took some time to get sorted. Maybe Werner, that will be next season, but we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. Um, Right, time for us to bring in yeah. Alan like, I saw a lot of people get upset over like Ruben Diaz four. winning Alan, the player of the Burnley. season considering it's his first season. One, one. Like, you, I can Alan see McAnally. why, considering like Kane should have probably got it because uh, he basically got got the golden boot and double digits assist as well. I think he's like the first player in God knows how long to do that. Um, and Ruben Diaz is playing for a team that's Anthony expected Martial. to win the Premier League anyway. And I don't think he's been playing all the games. Um, they couldn't take advantage of the so yeah, it, I think is like I think what it comes down to is Man City finished first, Tottenham finished seventh. Conte. So that's probably Can what it was. But and then like manager of the season was Pep Guardiola again because I guess because they won a few trophies. But again, Man City are expected to do that. Here. So I'd rather someone like David Moyes for example at West Ham considering they were what 15th 16th last season he and got them 6th the he Burnley got West Ham in the Europa McAnally. League and for, you know for West Ham and Pep who and again is at Man City with no that team with a backup team and is expected dominant. to do that well why not well, give it to someone that has actually been a surprising hand. manager this season, not someone that you know that's what's going to happen with them? Oh, we had to interrupt yeah, it, it's just one of those things that baffles me sometimes. Um, De Bruyne got player of the season. No, not player of the season. He got... No, did he get player of the season? What did he get? Player of the year, didn't he? Uh, I think De Bruyne got. Uh, which, you know, I guess... Fair enough. Well, just one minute of time um, added on for stoppages here. I don't know. It's, it's just one of those weird things, isn't it? But I guess because Man City won a lot, that's why they got all the awards. And that will do it for but yeah, I personally would have gave Kane player of the season for the fact he got double digits of goals and assists and he was the top scorer. And uh, I would have given Moyes uh, 
manager of the season because the fact that he got West Ham to sixth place. Well, the ball is moving yeah. again. First like, that, that's just me. Chelsea, but I'm not the one that makes the decisions. <laughs> but I'm not like salty over it because, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, it's not my decision again. So. And Golo Conte. An effective ball. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Now, will the cross work out for them? Oh, God, what's going oh, on? <laughs> God, they tripped over each other. Well, big right, I'll make a couple of substitutions in a bit. Relay to you. Marcus Rashford, I'm being told, has completed his move to Inter. A reported fee of around 80 million pounds. He did that ages ago. Huge amount of money. Responsibility on a player's shoulders with that sort of price tag is huge. But he's a huge player. Big personality. Now, come back here. Thiago yes. Silva wins it. Martial. A goal! Oh, I love the goal. exceptional performance this. Four to the good now. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely, quick counter-attack that sets up the chance. And yeah, then so the I'll bring... Is impressive. He smashes the ball with all he has to beat a forlorn well, Greenwood's gone now, hasn't he? So... Strike. so... Let's do some subs now. Uh, I'll bring Madison on for Ward-Prowse. Uh, Pogba on for Neves. That'll do. I think that'll do. It's like the opening to uh, well, it's a poor the 2019-20 season. 4-0 Band United against Chelsea. Let's get an update game. from Goodison Park where there's been a goal. Alan McAnally can tell us about it. It's a second oh, over the top. for Everton. 62 minutes played. 2-2. Two -two. Got it. Nah. From Alan McAnally along the way. Oh, Wobie's equalised for Everton versus Leicester. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League <gasps> coming up. Oh, it's Arsenal next. I might play the Arsenal game Arsenal. if that's yeah, next. Game after game, the season is relentless, but players just love uh, nah, to play. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that for the next stream. The Actually, I'll save belter. that for the next one. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Wow. Well, fizzled out. I got quite a decent. Yeah, so Arsenal sold both Lacazette and Aubameyang, so I don't know who they've got up front. It will be interesting. Come on, Marshall, make a run. Barnes. Harvey Barnes. And played in, and you need your defender to take charge. Here's a change for Manchester United. There we go. Yeah, Madison's got the number seven shirt now. Now that Cavani's been sold. And use of a goal in the bunt, and the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Laid into the box, making sure nothing untoward happened. It's cleared back out. You're saying with the goal? Well, Alan McAnally was in full flow. Unfortunately, we had to cut him off just moments ago. Just to confirm, Manchester City did score in that game. And their lead ah. stands at 3-1. Martial. Ah, oh, Martial with a turn. Martial. Well, he didn't miss by ah. the Could have been another one. Let's bring Giroud on. To be replaced by number 17. Giroud also against his old club. Ah, oh, was a lovely pass. Got straight past me. And players waiting in the center. Ah, oh, lovely tackle, like Tellers. They've lost possession. There's Madison. And five minutes oh, to go. Damn it. Making progress. Ah, and nice that, try. The attack fizzles out. And the conditions look good for the counter oh, attack. Intercepted. Oh, 
Old Trafford. Give a round of applause for today's Kurt Zuma. Of the match. Number nine, Werner. Anthony Martial. James. Uh. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, oh, good save. There will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. That's fine. That's fine. And full time. I'll take that. I'll take four now. United victory. No fans will be happy about that, Lee. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressive up front. Oh, my guy's really the small. Really hit form today. The result was. Oh my God! I don't know what happened. If I'm honest. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Yes. Must score. Almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no... So we got Martial goal. Torres got a goal. Um, that was the one that I just blanked. I was too busy talking about something uh, that I just didn't clock that I scored with Torres. Post-match interview. Oh, less than 3-2. Hi there, have you got a minute for a question? Yeah, why not? Headlines, update with all about Marshall's stunning performances, two goals with a series of victory. What are your thoughts about your star man? Oh, it's been fantastic. He kept a good team display. Of course, Marshall's performance has goals for what caught the eye, but I think it's important because the rest of the team too. Man United were all in this together. That's performance your fans remember for a long time against your big rivals. Did you do anything different get the team ready for this particular game? Just told them what it... That is worked really hard in training. We took our chances and that was different. You have to build from a solid foundation. I didn't ever feel as though we were going to give anything away. Our defending was a foundation for the win today. We were strong, organised and disciplined. We hardly give a chance the whole game. That's going down. It's a very impressive win. I'm sure you're happy with the 4-0 scoreline. How satisfied were you two teams ever performance? Oh, they're all great. They're perfect. We're working hard at the better being back I know we can always score goals. This performance said this up. I'm very pleased with our playing in the moon. That was an excellent team performance. Everybody knows what they have to do in our session. The important thing now is prepare for the video. Oh, my bar's in the way. Never mind. Thank you. I'll not take any more questions. Sod off. Tell us it's sold. I'm going to need a new left back. Okay. Let's go sign a left back. Right. What budget and what price have I got? 112,606k. Oh, there's Danny Ings. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to change some of the scout instructions. Um, right. Remove that. Remove that. Uh, remove that. Yep. Uh, don't need that anymore. Actually, I, I do need a centre back. Centre back. Um... Let's do promising, shall we? They might actually be fairly cheap. Uh, don't need that. All right, new instruction. Left back. Uh, box to box. Uh, position. Right back. Box to box. I could do with a backup one. Uh, position. Um, what do we need? Strikers I'm fine with. Let's say, let's say a, a winger actually. Winger, uh, first team quality. Just, just for backup. And then this one can be, uh, uh, what do I need? Let's just say attacker. Um, I'll, I'll say promising for this one as well. So promising attacker, promising centre backs. Uh, so let's hope we can actually get something from this. Probably not, but uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Pogba gone. Okay, that's another midfielder gun then. Into Williams. Oh, they got Mitrovic from uh, Fulham. 
interesting. Shadow Ramirez Cuppage out in Grealish. Yabe Melendo Eggstein. Vidra Barnes and me were sold in Mary Rapar. They got James. What James is that though? Hudson Doy Giroud, Silva Abraham, thank you. Hudson Doy, Oxen, Zaha Sacco. Mbappé's Hol Bernard, Mendy and Junior, out with Mitovic, Getty and Belzinga, no players sold. Leicester, Pereira, Madison, Mendy, Barnes, gone, Imbrot, Lanzini, Window, Wambasaka. Liverpool, Cavani, Modric, Was, sold Henderson. Uh, they got Grealish, maybe Belay, Popper, sold Mendy, Torres, and Foden. Uh, a lot for me. Sumer and me for Lascelles and Fernandez. Bash them out, Jones and Sissoko in. Ortega, Gerhardt, Merrick, Cushion, McTominay for Ward Prowse, Morbone, and Armstrong. De Vries, Witzel, Vasco, Mora out. Johnston's out there, Tonzo Bay, Villar, and Vidal. Uh, and then Robbery, Rudy and Gabriel for Lanzini. Draxler, Van der Beek for Neves. Yeah. Right, let's check the latest deals. Um, Yelt, Heverton. Um, yeah, some of these I would have seen already. Oh, that's where they're going from. Okay. Um, hopefully, scouting's brought something back. Probably hasn't. I'll, I'll advance two hours and hopefully something comes up. Okay, I'm going to try and sign him. So he's in my shortlist. Right back's going to progress. Winger, first team quality. Ah, oh, Kingsley Coman. Thorgan, Insignia. Gareth Bale. Uh, Grid has already got. Promising attacker. Okay. Um, so transfer hub. Let's try and sign this left back. Uh, approach to buy. Begin negotiations. I'll try forty million. I'll I'll see I'll see what happens. Offer transfer fee. Forty. Negotiate. I need a left back, please. You're going to be crucial because you're my only left back, apart from Williams. But I'll take you over Williams. Important. Yep, fine. It's completely fine. Uh, length of contract: four years. Uh, yep, that's fine. Uh, yeah, sure. I've got I've got those wages. I've absolutely got them. Cool, okay, that's a player signed, and I can fix my squad now. Oh, it's not Williams, I'm swapping it. There we go, that's a, that's a good squad there, that's a good squad. Okay, yeah, so if I can sign some back up left mid or whatever I'll take it right advance two more hours we'll see what happens oh Martinez to Burnley oh Brighton's gone to Valencia ah interesting because I to Bordeaux to Brighton Fomenko to Barcelona for 81 million bloody hell I'm pretty sure this is the one Leicester's trying to sign for like 23 million at the moment oh no sorry this is the one that Liverpool just bought for 38 I believe um, which they probably should have done the previous season just gone anyone else have no Edar to Gitaf oh I wouldn't have been able to sign him anyway uh, Caballero to, to Elche. Um, 
No, pretty much the same as before. Right, let's check the scout reports, see if they've come up with anything else. Uh, well, Godfrey's promising. Ampadu, Tomore. Um, Godfrey could be a decent backup, I guess. Maybe. Um, oh, they're all mostly the same, aren't they? On Bailey. Yeah, they're mostly the same. Alright, let's uh, advance a few more hours. Matic, Napoli for 12 million. Now, what have they taken? Okay, let's check transfers one more time. I think they're just still the same, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, um, I think that might be the rest of it. Something in the office, let me guess. Talks broke down. Alright, Matic is gone. Okay. Um, well, let's see what I've got defensively. I probably need a... Joe, you know I need two centre backs. I've got no centre backs. So I'll I'll see who I can sign. I'll get Godfrey, I'll get Ampadu. Um, yeah, I should probably look at some, trying to get some of these. Uh, so shortlist him, shortlist, Tomori, I think he's just recently gone to Milan so he won't be being sold, um, looks like he has potential I guess. Let's try to go through those. I'll shot this. Okay. I'll try 20 million for Godfrey, possibly. I'll try 15 for this one. Fifteen sound good. Yes. Okay. There's one. Yep. Prospect's fine. Absolutely fine being a prospect. Four years. No release clause. 70,000 with a million signing bonus. How's that? Thank you. Okay, I'll take that. Godfrey. Let's try... Because it's Everton. 20. Should we do 20? Yes, okay. Cool. I just want some backups, that's all. I'll do 10 million for Ampadu. If that doesn't work, then yeah, whatever. Uh, prospect. 
Oh, sporadic. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You can be sporadic. That's what I was originally thinking. Four years? Yep, fine. No release clause? Yep, fine. Uh, 60,000 with a 1.2 signing bonus. Add bonus. Appearances. Every five, you get 500,000. How's that sound? Yeah! Ampadu! 10 million. I forgot how weird your hair is. I think he cut it all recently. Uh, I'll tell you what. 8 million. How does that sound? Yeah! Brody. They're probably all... I'm probably shooting way above what their actual price is. Uh, prospect. Because you're only 19. Five years on your contract. No release clause. And your wages will be... Oh, I think with the others I've shot way above if he's only having 13,500. I've just kept someone a dream wage there, 70 grand to sit on the bench. Okay, so... You... That's not too bad, 76 overall. I've got 73 there. Ampadu, you move up here. Okay, that, that'll, that'll do, I think. Two hours left. Let's do the rest of these transfers. Oh, I got something in the office. Ah, oh, look, Martial just had Man City for 41 million for Martial and Henderson. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. And. Negotiate. If you want him, you're paying 70 for him. And then I'm just left with Giroud. Actually, 65. Ha! Oh, I, I upset him. Oh well, I don't care. There's no way I'm saying Martial. Man City have already had Pogba off me. Alright, let's advance to the next game. Barcelona for 44.2. Uh. Negotiate, I'm going to budget up to 55. Um, and then, I guess in that time, I could look at signing a new striker. Fifty-five. Wait. Player swap. Striker. Who have you got? You just got Cramerich. Griezmann. I want Griezmann. Um, and a transfer fee of... Nothing. How's that? Nope. Cool. <laughs> That's fine. Fine by me. Yeah, so I think it's the international break at the moment. But people really want Martial now. Other nations, I Manchester United. Oh, I could be getting international duty soon. Martial transfer offer again. <gasps> I'll give him. To, do you know what? 
I'll give him to Leicester 47.2. If Leicester won him for that price, take it. And then I'll probably sign Vardy in his place if Vardy comes available in the thing. De Gea transfer. Leipzig for 53.9. I mean, yeah, I did take your goalkeeper, so... Oh, I've just I've just looked at it. Go back, go back. Right, if I sell Martial De Gea and Henderson, then I'll need well I've got Grant as a backup, I guess. But I could get another goalkeeper. I need another striker. They're all coming after the transfer window. Henderson transfer talks broke down. I guess he's not going anywhere, which is fine. I guess Henderson's my backup. Marshall's gone. Marshall's gone to Leicester. Right, in that case, I'm going to have to change my scout reports. Uh, scout instructions. Right, I want... Right, remove that, remove that, remove that, remove that, remove that, remove that. Position. Uh, I want striker. First team quality. Pacey. Do I? Prolific. Let's do prolific. Uh, position. Goalkeeper. Um, I don't because I've, I've still got Henderson. So I don't need that. Um... Full back. Um, let's do promising for that one. Uh, position. Uh, well, I've already got enough centre backs now. Um, full back. I've already done that one, haven't I? Yeah. Uh, Set of that one. Position. Winger. Uh, attack minded. Position. I don't need central mids, I don't need attacking mids. Let's just say attacker. Um, strong. Position, goalkeeper, uh, strong, and then this one can be empty, don't need it. Right, so, oh, so I've already come up, cool. Um, so if I'm selling Martial, I want, oh I could go Martinez. 84. I'll, I'll keep those going because they, they've they've come instantly. Bowine, Bamberg, Nabry, Coman. I want someone that's like not the same as Barnes at the moment, but maybe the same as Barnes, but Scout Gineppo. There we go. Uh, oh, I've got Antonio there. Calvert. Scout Calvert Lewin. Oh, Man is 78 though. I guess he's not in that one. Okay. So. Oh. So. We'll leave it at that. Um, so. Over the squad. We've got. Martial on his way out. Uh, Fernandez staying in. Uh, everyone else has pretty much been swapped out. Um, Henson's still there. De Gea's still there, but De Gea could be going. Uh, Giroud. I got Madison. Godfrey. Tarunariga. How do you say his name? Ampadu's a backup. He's going to be working his way up. Um, 
Gulasi from Leipzig, Koulibaly from Napoli, Thiago Silva from Chelsea, Ricardo Pereira from Leicester, Guerrero from Dortmund, Ward Prowse from Southampton, Neves from Wolves, uh, Osi Madison from Leicester, Godfrey from Everton, um, Barnes from Leicester, Torres from Man City. Uh, I need to find a re replacement striker. Maybe Giroud could fill that spot on a regular basis. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Uh, it's been a very good one. Um, yeah, I managed to sell almost the entire squad. Uh, it, like I said, it's a lot of fun to do. Um, so far, four for four. Same with Man City, Leicester, Spurs, uh, West Ham fifth, Burnley sixth. Uh, Martial's currently top goal scorer. Son of four, Sterling four, Maris four, Mane four, Vardy four, Ian Atro four, Fernandes three. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching this stream. I will upload this to YouTube. My YouTube is in 94 Unless you're already watching on YouTube, then do feel free to subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. Um, but yeah. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed watching this stream slash video and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Alright, bye.